This is Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. When I went to bed last night, I had every intention of waking up in the morning, going on the dirt sheets, the websites, checking out the newsletters, reading it, taking it in, soaking it in, and then coming on here and doing as I do, being prolific, consistent, and dedicated, giving my opinion, my view on the fair use of the WWE news, rumors, headlines on your favorite superstars, uh, storylines, angles, Raw, SmackDown, WrestleMania, the WWE Network, whatever it is. Um, now, we know that I have been trying to ignore all the hate, and I've been trying to ignore the death threats, and I've been trying to ignore the harassment. And I haven't been coming on here in the past few weeks and talked about the haters and the death threats that I get on a day-to-day -day basis, which I'm still getting, but I'm trying to ignore. But not even I was going to be able to uh, anticipate what happened earlier this morning. So I went to bed last night around maybe 10, 11 o'clock. And then around maybe 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning. And where I'm at, it's still pitch black. Can't see anything. I know the changing of the times is coming. you got to switch the clocks. I'm hearing banging. I'm hearing banging. I, I live in the second floor. I live second floor. I'm hearing bang, 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 bang. Who the heck's banging? Then all of a sudden, I have my fire escape where you can climb up the little ladder from the first floor to the second floor. I'm hearing bang, bang, bang. Now, at first thought, I'm thinking, okay, I'm dreaming. This isn't right. Something's not adding up. Something's fishy. So I get up. Like at first glance, I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking anything of it. I'm thinking maybe it's my brother. I'm thinking maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a family member, maybe somebody that needs help. Maybe someone's stuck outside because we got a bunch of snow outside, uh, frigid. Uh, you know, the cars are stuck. You can't get in certain spots. A lot of different things going on. So I get up. <clears throat> trying to analyze the situation. I look out my windows. I don't see anything peculiar going on. I don't see anything strange or odd. So then I go to my fire escape. See a knife. See a knife at the fire escape. And I'm like, okay, that's that's a little odd. Why would there be a knife at the fire escape? Then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. I hear more knocking on the door. I go downstairs and somebody actually tried to get into my house. Somebody actually tried to force entry into my house. Because what would happen is my girlfriend Lynn would go into the room that I'm in right now. And there is a window to my left. There is a window to my left. And there was two people in masks running around the apartment, running around the house, trying to figure out a way to get in. Now I always lock my doors. I always lock my windows. And thank God the situation didn't get a lot worse than that. But the mere fact that somebody tried to force entry, the mere fact that somebody tried to get into the confines of my apartment just to shut me down, just because they were a hater, just because they did not like the things I did. And you're probably going to ask, well, Sean, how did you know it wasn't just someone that wanted to steal something or wanted money or, or they tried to get some kind of drugs, although I don't do drugs and I don't condone uh, doing drugs. But uh, you're probably asking, well, how, how do you know they're haters? How do you know they're against you? How do you know they got something with you? Well, I know that because they left a little note. They left a little note that said, Sean's View, death. Death to Sean's View Entertainment. Death to Sean's View Entertainment. Now, I could come on here and I could show you that little piece of paper. And I could show you that, but you'd say, oh, that was me that did it. So I'm not even going to show you that. I'm not even going to show you that. The mere fact that there are these two morons running around my house trying to break in. I don't know what they thought they were going to do. I don't know what they think they were going to uh, uh, you know, plan on once they did if they would have got into the house. But the mere fact that they tried to get through my front door, the mere fact that they tried to get through the fire escape, and who knows what else. Who knows how long they were banging and clacking at my door and at my window. Who knows? They could have been doing this for a long time. But this is a situation that could have turned really ugly and it could have turned real bad real fast. So I don't understand the mentality. I am someone that comes on here and gives his view and his opinion of WWE news, rumors, and headlines. All I am is someone that's talking about wrestling. And you're going to go to that level that you can't stand me, that you can't stand my image, that you can't stand my talking. You're going to go to that level, risking getting in trouble, going to jail, having to be going to court, be in the little cop car, be wherever you're going to be. Just because you don't like me, death to Sean's view entertainment, that's what you leave at the fire escape. And then you're trying to bash down my door. 
you know, I thought the death threats and the harassing and the bullying and the name calling here on YouTube.com, I thought that was low. I thought that was intense. This is extreme. Now I have people trying to break and enter. I have tr people trying to get into my space. People invading my privacy. This is getting to be ridiculous. Th 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 this... This is getting to be an all-time low, and yes, I did notify the authority. They are on the lookout for them right now. Like I said, they had masks on. I don't know who they were about. I don't know what color hair. I don't know what kind of eyes. Uh, they were probably both about 5'4", five, 5'6", five, somewhere in that range. But, you know, it's kind of hard to describe to the authorities when you have they have masks on. They have these coats on. You know, the, <laughs> they had black pants. One had black pants, the other one had gray pants. I mean, it, 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 it's, 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 it's insane. I am someone that comes on here and is so passionate and so dedicated and so driven to be successful, to be the best, to make this my job, to make this the journey of a lifetime. And I have people that not only want to ruin it uh, in online, but they want to ruin it in real life. So I have taken more precautions and now I actually have cameras outside my, my house now, my, my apartment. I have cameras now. Uh, at the fire escape and at the uh, entrance to my house as you come in through the gate. Um, it's to the point where I have to get extra caution. I have to take those extra warnings. I, I have to uh, up the ante because some people just don't like me. And you're willing to risk your life. You're, risking, you're, you're, you're willing to risk going to jail and getting in all kinds of troubles and facing all kinds of fines and penalties. Just because you don't like me talking about WWE, or maybe because I'm a I'm a John Cena fan and I rise above hate, or maybe I'm a Roman Reigns fan, or I hear Randy Orton voices in my head, maybe because I'm a fan of Randy Orton, or maybe just because you just don't like me and you want me off YouTube.com. It's, it's one of the dumbest, stupidest things you could do. What a dumb crook you are. And wherever you are out there, if you plan on coming back, I got some extra, <laughs> got some extra plans in my head. I got some, got some mind games to play with you. If you think you're in my head, you, you're sadly mistaken. I apologize that I wasn't able to come on here and give my view and my opinion of rumors, news, and headlines. But right now, my head's somewhere else. The fact that people are trying now to break in and force entry and invade my privacy and my own living environment. It's reprehensible. It's sick. It's sick. It's sad. How low can you go? Do you have that much of a problem with me? Is it that, does it bother you that much that I am a success story? Does it bother you that much? Does it get underneath your skin to that degree that you have to try to break and enter? Subscribe. Ridiculous. Absolutely out of this world. I can't. What a crazy life. What a crazy world.